Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Courtney. Today I am sharing how I made this cute little pumpkin stand with all things from Dollar Tree. I'm also going to show you how I upcycled a flower arrangement from Kirkland's. That's this one right here. And that is what inspired me to make a Dollar Tree version for all of you guys. So stay tuned to see how I made it. To start this project, you'll be needing a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree. I recommend getting the white one, it'll just make it easier when it comes to painting, but you could use the black if that's all you have. My piece right here is a scrap piece I had, it's about 9 by 11. Uh, th there is no rhyme or reason to that size. You can make it whatever you want. So basically what I'm going to do is you aren't going to cut this directly in half. You want to make one piece a little bit bigger than the other. So I'm going to cut this at four inches and then the other piece will be five by 11 and one will end up being four by 11. And the reason for that is the smaller piece will be your base and you want your awning piece to be about an inch um, more than your base piece. I hope that makes sense, but yeah, that's what I did. Okay, the next step is to start working on the little fence that's going to go around and I originally was going to use the Dollar Tree popsicle sticks which would make it a little more to scale to my Kirkland's one but I had these Walmart ones and decided to just go ahead and use those. So I'm going to use for the front five little popsicle sticks here for the pickets and then on the sides I'll end up having two and basically what I'm going to do is kind of decide the height that I want and I'm just going to cut these down and then I will We'll glue the pickets to the long piece there, the crossbar, I guess you call it. And then I'll make two little side pieces using two popsicle sticks as well and glue those to a crossbar piece. I'm just going to use hot glue to glue my crossbar down to my picket pieces here and just make sure you notice that I don't um, put the crossbar all the way to the edges as you can see on each side on those last pickets There's a gap and that's so that my side pieces can just go snugly up against those pickets So make sure you leave a little bit of a gap there The three sections of my fence are finished so what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach my side pieces to the front piece of the fence and I'm just using some hot glue I'm just running it down the side and here is where you will see why you needed that gap there so that you can just set it nicely and smoothly well with my arm in the way there um, there you go uh, <laughs> that how it just sits nicely and then I kind of go in and reinforce with a little bit of glue on the inside as well And now I'm just going to grab the smaller of the two pieces of foam board and just put hot glue around the three sides and then just smush it into my fence and that will hold it secure there. For the back of the stand, you are going to need two wooden Dollar Tree rulers. Now you could use the popsicle sticks again, but I just chose to use these because they were a little bit thicker and I felt like a little bit sturdier. And this will make your stand 12 inches tall. So I'm basically, I pulled off the little plastic part and I'm just using some hot glue right here to secure it. And then I'm going to take some of the little tower blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that to kind of secure it even better in the corners. Once 
once the two rulers are secure, I'm going to take two more popsicle sticks and I'm basically just going to hot glue those to the back just to give it a little extra security. They won't be visible once you fill the little basket part or whatever you want to call this with pumpkins or hay or whatever you fill it with, but this will definitely help stabilize it just by adding these two popsicle sticks. I'm working on the awning so what I ended up doing is because I wanted these to kind of be a little bit thick these are the popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree so this is what I was talking about in the beginning if you wanted to make your fence a little smaller use these and basically I'm going to end up stacking two um, on top of each other just to give this awning a little bit more dimension and I'm going to end up using six of them so that's 12 total popsicle sticks and I'm just going to trim them down and then hot glue the two popsicle sticks together and then I'm going to hot glue that to the piece of foam. For the back of my stand, I'm going to be using this wire from one of these splatter screens, again from Dollar Tree, and I'm just cutting it out. Now, I don't know that necessarily you have to put a backing on there. I just felt like it looked a little better, but if you can find the little trash cans from Dollar Tree, you could cut that wire up and put that in the back, or just like I said, leave it open. It's up to you. So I'm just going to cut this out, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the back of my stand. To attach it, I'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to set it down and then you'll notice there kind of in the corners that um, it's not filled in. So basically what I trim off the top, I go and basically place those little pieces in the corner. When it's filled, you will not even notice those corners, so I, I, it's not necessary and you don't need the screen to go all the way to the bottom because again, it's not visible once you start putting stuff inside of the stand. So this is all I'm doing to get this secure. It's just some good old fashioned hot glue. On. And so now I'm going to take a popsicle stick and just secure it across the back here. And then I'll also put one on the front side. Um, just run some hot glue here. It doesn't matter. You won't be able to see this because again, now I'm going to take a popsicle stick and just run it across the front of it just to kind of make it nice and neat looking. So ended up putting some popsicle sticks down the sides on the back just again to kind of clean it up and make it the back look a little better even though this is going to go against the wall at my friend's house I just didn't want the back to look totally messy so that's just what I'm doing is just kind of putting popsicle sticks all over where this the uh, mesh or wire is exposed so that it looks a little bit neater. Okay, the back is all cleaned up here and now I'm going to be ready to get my awning ready to attach and the way I'm going to do that is I am going to take again another one of the large popsicle sticks and I'm basically just going to glue it to well here just watch this I don't know how to explain this so the awning will sit like that and if you glue the popsicle stick to the back of the awning you'll be able to just kind of set it on top and secure it with hot glue. So that's what I'm doing is I'm running some hot glue on the back of the awning. Then I'm going to stick the popsicle stick there and then I'll put glue at the top of the stand and just pop my awning on there and then go back in and secure in the crack with some hot glue. And the last step before you kind of start decorating this is I'm just taking some Waverly white chalk paint and I am just brushing it on. I'm not trying to get full coverage because I do want the popsicle wood grain to kind of show through. So at this point you can paint it whatever you want. You could leave it like this if you wanted to, but that's all I'm using is some Waverly white chalk paint. 
for the sign, I created this free printable for you guys. I will have it linked down below. So I'm just gonna cut those both out and then I'm going to stick them on my stand. And for the circle, I'm just going to cut it out, attach it to some foam board, and then I'll just put Velcro on the back and secure some Velcro to the back of the stand. That way I can change up the sign with the seasons. Now, Dollar Tree does sell the Velcro, um, but I will tell you this, I did just trying to stick the Velcro on there with its stickiness <laughs> um, and it kind of pulled off. So you're gonna have to give it a little extra glue or something to help that Velcro stick to it. Um, and then for the pumpkins for sale, I just attached that to a popsicle stick and leaned it up against the stand. And I'm just using one of the removable glue dots so that way I can just pull it on and off and it won't damage the paint. And I can change it out again with the seasons. The last thing I did for this was take another little piece of foam board that I trimmed down even more and I'm just putting some hot glue and attaching some moss to it and then I can just kind of put this insert in and out on the stand. Well, not me, but my friend because the stand is for my friend, but um, you know, depending on what she wants, she can put this down or not put it down, but it gives her an option as far as covering up the white bottom without making it permanent. And here it is all put together, the hay bales and the little pumpkins all from Dollar Tree. It just painted some of them, added a little coil. These are ones that are for my stand, so my friend is gonna go pick up her own. But let me show you how I tweaked the Kirkland's little floral arrangement, and that is what gave me the inspiration to make this Dollar Tree version. So let me quickly show you how I turned that one around and added lights to my stand the thing that I picked up from Kirkland's on clearance for $19.97 and when I saw it I knew I would be able to turn it into a multi-seasonal decor piece. The first thing I did was pull out all of these flowers. Now this one had a piece of styrofoam that it's actually glued down into this box. You could do that to the Dollar Tree version if you want to and I know I'm gonna have to pull it out when I turn this into a Christmas tree stand so I can prop my Christmas trees in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. Once I pull the flowers out, I am gonna go in with a little bit of Dollar Tree moss and kind of just pat in where those little pieces of styrofoam are exposed even though, again, you really don't see it, but I just wanted to go ahead and do that to make it a seamless look. All right, now I'm gonna add my fairy lights. Now I'm gonna be using this electrical tape to attach this strand of fairy lights that I got from Dollar Tree. And basically I'm using the same process that I did when I showed you that video of the little Dollar Tree house that I turned into a barn for Christmas. I will link that video down below if you didn't see it. But all I'm gonna do is I counted up how many total lights there were, and then I decided how to divide them across. So I'm gonna put three on each of the sides here and then there will be um, I think six along the front side of it and I'm just putting it up there with this electrical tape you can't see the electrical tape so there's no need to go back in and try to cover that up or paint it like you cannot tell because this awning is slanted and that's the beauty of that is it covers up the electrical tape My lights are on and now I'm making a sign. Again, same process, have the printable, cut it out, attaching it to foam board. However, the back of this stand is a little bit more open wire. So to attach it, instead of using Velcro, I am just going to attach some twine to the back of it and then I will tie it to the back. So if you decide to use the Dollar Tree trash can, you can use twine to attach it. Ok, 
Okay, the stand is ready to be decorated. So I'm gonna be using these hay bales from Dollar Tree. They have them every year and I shared a hack with my Facebook group because I tend to pick these up every year and this is my hack. So basically what you do is you shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> and then you douse it with some hairspray. I use Tresemme. Um, and then you let it dry a little bit, shake it again, spray it with another, um, coat of hairspray and then shake it one more time and spray it with hairspray and that will keep all the little pieces of hay from falling out of the bales and it just makes it so less messy. So that is what I do for that. For the pumpkins, I'll be using these little three packs of pumpkins. I know they carry white and orange, but I can never find the white ones. So all I want to do here is I don't want all my pumpkins to look exactly the same. So I'm just going to take some different color orange paints. I'm going to take some brown truffle paint and paint the stems. And I'm just going to go in and kind of highlight them, add some paint to some of them, lighten some of them up so that they do look different in my stand. And I didn't show this, but for this one, I had a little chalkboard sign that I got from the Target dollar spot. I know that Dollar Tree does sell the little chalkboard picket things. And basically I made a little pumpkins for sale sign just by using a white um, uh, colored pencil to write on it and just wrote pumpkins for sale, 25 cents. And here it is all finished. This is the Kirkland's version and there's the pumpkin sign I was telling you about. I absolutely love this and cannot wait to decorate it for all the seasons. I will post on Instagram for each season how I decorate this. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you are loving these fall DIYs. It really helps out my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!